Okay, here we're going to take a quick look at Factory I.O. and see what we can do with that. So if I go into Factory I.O., now the first thing is, every time you open it, and I'm not sure what the way it was installed or whatever, but you have to right-click on it and open it as administrator. Now, after you do that for the first time, you can just click on it regular like, and it works fine. So it gets up here, and you get a full screen, and it's going to say, what do you want to do? And you know, if you want to look at tutorials, you can. Uh, right now, we're just going to uh, take a look at a scene. And the scene that we want to do is the sorting by height, but we want to do the basic one. And the way these things work, um, well, the first thing that you want to do is um, this is in the edit mode where you can change things around and this is puts it in the run mode. So right now it's in the run mode and that drops a box down there. So I'm going to reset it with this guy um, because we don't want to do that yet. And I'm going to put it in halt so it stops doing that. Um, but as you can see, it drops a box and it, this basically steps you through what you need to do. So you step through, step through, and then you figure out what code I need to write to implement these functions. And if we look in here, we can say, I want to dock all tags. And right now you see that this thing is blue, which means it's forced on. So that emitter is always going to drop. Now when I release it, it's not going to drop. And then they have these remover things on. We're just going to release those for a second. The remover signal, um, signals are these boxes at the very end. And, uh, you know, when the box gets that far, the remover is like the magic disappearing act for the box. But we're going to take a look at this. And, oh, and, you know, when you manipulate it, you can move in and out. Um, that white dot is where your center of your screen is. So everything's going to rotate around that white dot. So you can get the view that you want. Um, you have a control panel which has your start, start, stop, and reset. And this is a counter. And what we're just going to do is look at it in the simple mode. So when I look at this, I know that the emitter is going to drop a box. So when I turn on the emitter, and to get into the force mode, I'll just click on that. It'll just, and now I'm in pause. So I'm going to take it out of pause. And it drops the box there. Now nothing else happens. And now I can go through here and look at the other signals. And these little green things with the line through them, those are your actuators. These are your sensors, these orange circular things. And these ones that are at, that are lit up, means that they are normally, if you're looking at that signal input, it would be a high level or active. These other ones, like for instance, the uh, low sensor and our high sensor, those are right now off. And the other thing you can do besides forcing this, well, let me turn this on. So what we need to do next is we need the conveyor entry, which is this conveyor entry. We need to get that moving. So what we'll do is we'll turn this on. Now, when we turn this on, it's going to drop another box. So I'm going to turn on the conveyor entry, then I'm going to turn this one off. Um, when we get to the high speed mode, if you want to do that, this emitter is always going to be on, so it's just going to be dropping box after box. Now, it doesn't drop up too fast. It leaves some space in there um, so they don't drop right on top of each other, but uh, that's a little more challenging PLC routine than what you're going to do right now. So I'm going to turn on the entry. It starts moving, and I'm going to turn that off. So now it's going up here, and it's going to stop. Now, you could see that these lights lit up for the sensors, but here it stops, and it can't move and here's the conveyor left and the conveyor right. But it can't move yet because it's not far enough into this grid to where it moves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it. I'm going to reset it. And we're going to try again. And we're going to slow it down to see what happens with our sensors. So I'm going to put the emitter on. It's going to, after I go off pause, it's going to drop a box. I'm going to put it in conveyor entry and it's going to move. Now I'm going to turn this. Now, as it gets down here, if I hit this clock, it's going to slow it down. Now, it's going really slow motion, so I want to look at the sensors. And when I'm looking at this, 
right now this front edge of the palette you can see the palette sensor goes high and then right there and I'm going to pause it both the high sensor and the low sensor went high and if we look in the view we can turn on um, our sensor tags and this will show us and I'm going to zoom in here so this shows us where our sensors are so the palette sensor is here our high sensor and our low sensor are here and basically these are through beams so they go from over here and then they're received over here now you know when the palette comes in it blocks it at this front edge so the palette becomes it sees the palette sensor before it sees these because the box is pushed back from the edge and so it sees the palette and then it sees both the high sensor and low sensor because this is actually a high box um, if it were just a low block box which is a really flat type of box it would just get the low sensor um, so now when I push it or I turn it back on we're going to take a look at what happens and we're going to look at the sensor bits again so I'm going to unpause it and now you can see it crawling forward and right now is when it stops and you can see that the high sensor and the low sensor are still it's still blocking that so what we really need to do is to get it moving forward there's a signal called load and if we do that now watch what happens to our box and our pellet it moves forward and I stop it right here because now the low sensor and the high sensor went off so with that load in there it pushed beyond our sensors now it's still and this shows up as yellow so it's still blocking on the pallet sensor because the pallet sensor has not cleared yet so um, I'm just going to spin it loose here and we'll wait until the pallet sensor went low right there so now it cleared the palette sensor that went from yellow to white and now if we unpause it it's going to stop there now if you notice that the loaded signal and this is a sensor that went high and so now I'm going to turn off the conveyor and I'm going to turn off the load and now when the loaded signal is high that means our palette is in place and it can go either to the left or to the right and that's what you're going to try to do for this first little project. You need to go right or left. And we'll come back in a little bit and see that. Okay, so I'm not sure how clear this shows up. But what I did is I went back. I took a look at what we have here. And so, you know, I'm going to have a start signal. Now, before we were just turning on the emitter. But I'm going to use that start button. And that start button is in going to initially turn on the emitter. That's what I need. When the emitter comes on, I'm turning on the um, entry conveyor. And that'll move down. And then somewhere along the line, the pallet sensor comes on. And then afterwards, we get the high and low sensor. But when my pallet sensor goes high, and that's what these arrows show, um, you know, this sensor going, the transition from low to high, is going to turn on the load signal. And then I'm going to go down and you know it keeps loading it keeps loading and then when I get the loaded bit when that goes high right there what we're going to do is we're going to turn off both the load and the entry conveyor and so that's the roadmap that you're going to have and you're going to have to work with those are your signals and now you just need to um, you know control the signals as they were coming in um, and you know the factory IO is really cool because it walks you through each step and all you have to do is come up with the logic to control it based on what those steps are.